Hey guys, this is our special surprise. I didn't tell them. <laughs> <laughs> surprise! Um, this is Heather Mitz. She was uh, she's a member of the women's national team that just won the gold medal in uh, Beijing. It's not often you get to meet a world class athlete. For these eight, nine year old girls from the United Soccer Team in Voorhees, New Jersey, it was a chance of a lifetime as two time Olympic gold medalist Heather Mitz spent time teaching a few moves, answering questions, and motivating these young girls to be the best they can be. I started playing club when I was in third grade, started playing soccer when I was six. I actually played in high school, played a lot of different sports. And then it was about my sophomore year of high school, I decided, you know what, my best chance of getting a scholarship is probably just to start really concentrating on soccer. So that's what I did. Heather was born in Cincinnati, Ohio, and now lives in Philadelphia. She played soccer in college at the University of Florida and later played professionally for the Philadelphia Charge. Now, as a member of Team USA, she travels the world playing the games she we loves. We train about 11 months out of the year. And uh, for the majority of that time, we actually have to move and live out in California. And uh, we train every single day when we're out there. And we travel all over the world. And it's a lot of fun to be able to say it's my job. Their eyes and ears are wide open as Heather expands their world, teaching hard work and perseverance. How did you get on the women's soccer team? Um, lots of hard work. Lots of hard work. And you know what? I think for me, uh, I've been cut a bunch of times. And you know what? That just made me work harder. It made me um, want to prove the coach is wrong. And so, you know, whatever it was, I would ask them why I was cut. And then I'd go and work on that. And I'd come back. And, you know, you have to come back with the attitude that, you want to be there and you're going to keep working hard and so that's what I did. How about I show you guys my two favorite moves, okay? Um, no, actually. Uh, this is a great one. You can use it anywhere on the field. It's a good change of direction move. And so say like I'm a defender, yeah, I'm a defender. I'm acting like I'm going to pass it back to my keeper. So I step over and then with the same foot I bring the ball back. So it's really easy but the way you got to sell it is you gotta come around and use your hips and then come back the opposite way. The girls were in awe kind of and um, they got to ask a lot of questions about her Olympic experience and uh, her experience uh, playing soccer, youth soccer and, and what she went through to get where she's at now. And I think it was just amazing because these girls that we have out here tonight, they love soccer and they're, they're so thrilled to have somebody out here that they can look up to and, and you know, and have a role model. It was really cool seeing her and get to design balls and getting pictures. It was really fun. What did she say? What did you think you learned from her? That you should always have confidence and do as your best you can on the field when you're playing soccer. I've been through pretty much everything that you can possibly think of. You know, I've given up a goal when I was in goalie as a defender. Um, you know, those things happen and it's just part of life and you know what, you just you get over it and you look forward to the next game and you come out and you work a little harder. This special practice finishes with a picture. Good job, you guys. <laughs> One that will last a lifetime. Good luck to you. Then there are hugs of gratitude from some very excited young athletes. Another gold medal performance from a world champion, giving back to our community, helping them to understand what it means to have the heart of the game.